Hello and welcome to another MapleStory 2 video. This will probably be the last MapleStory 2 video I'll be covering up uh, because I've been too busy uh, to follow up with all the news, with all the changes and of course having the time to play the game. I know I said I would take a break from it but it seems like I'm gonna take a vacation from it. Um, MapleStory 2 is still gonna be one of those games where I will you know, check in and out now and then. But it's not going to be a game where I'll be playing uh, with the amount of time I have because I do have other priorities and other things I want to do. Um, but I did look up on the recent news, hopefully I'm not too late with it. Uh, so we are going through the producer blogs and obviously I'm going to shout out to some websites or some YouTube channels and uh, Twitch channels that you can drop by and uh, see the uh, the players that are still playing and that I kind of uh, get inspired of because they are actually really really great players and people in general. So going off producer blog, uh, they are ending the Toads toolkit uh, in January 31st so once you've gotten all of those Toads toolkit I don't know if anyone else needs them at this point because everyone is farming chaos raids perhaps but if you're still needing your epic items to plus 15 and whatnot, uh, this is the last chance with the Toast Toolkit. And then they will add another event which happens directly after, and that's the Dungeon Delight event. And that will be double job for clearing uh, hard adventure, dun uh, adventure dungeons. So it will speed up a little bit because you don't have to farm. Uh, well, you could still farm the same amount, but it's still, you know, uh, the double drop basically but uh, other than that I think uh, I guess it's it's a good way for them to you know have players uh, re reappearing players to actually uh, catch up if you're still a bit behind but I still think uh, majority of the content is a bit lacking um, the enchanting system will still be a little bit wonky and obviously you spend a lot of mess of some time to upgrade and you might feel disappointed so we'll see maybe they should add this as a permanent thing instead of an event because it feels like it's a permanent thing with the way they implemented these two stuff now for the other part where they added another producer blog then feedback about initiative and communication and moving forward uh, so they are you know taking feedbacks from people I think it's been rough for them uh, ever since they released the phase 2 expansion uh, I I mean I logged in on day one for the expansion and then I yeah I guess I did the NPC battles and I was like okay that's it but then the next day I was like I don't wanna log in and do dailies and weeklies anymore even though you know that's part of the main game where you actually have to do your th like do all the things to actually get your stuff <laughs> you're not gonna get things for free so but uh, it became a bit uh, same like uh, a lot of things was the same thing you, lo you log in and do that and then you talk with some people and then you log out uh, because you're either waiting for your static group or you're waiting for a party finder to find someone to clear it and usually those people you uh, clear it uh, straight after the weekly reset so the remaining days becomes a little bit more empty and it's kind of hard for you to catch up then if you uh, don't have the time to play uh, during the weekend for example or whatever if you missed out one day of uh, your weekly runs but they are mentioning now that they are gonna look up on how to improve things they are having a three-month project uh, that they wanna you know uh, listen to the community you do a Q&A such and then uh, try to implement things that they will uh, that we want to have uh, that's being changed so some points that they are uh, putting up is the enchanting improvements that's obviously one of the main reason it's it costs way too much uh, the materials and since they removed that um, they didn't remove the fair fight it became a bit harder for everyone to form up and upgrade their legendary equipments which required a lot of um, green crystals gemstone upgrades that's also something they need to improve not something i want to spend my time now and uh, fail every week because you're expecting to get at least two upgrades or so 
but you still fail and you get demotivated for uh, to upgrade and to continue to play because you're not improving and someone else is improving and getting high DPS and whatnot. For socketing, that's the same thing. I, I think socketing wasn't an issue, but it it did suck that you you needed two of this uh, like two of the same amount of socket item or accessory. And then let's say you have a Candorous Pendant 2 slot and you want to unlock the third slot, you needed another 2 slot. And you know, the amount of money and RNG for that is gonna be ridiculous. And yeah, so I hope they, they, these improvements will be something that I will be looking forward to, to see if they actually manage to change something, like having fail stacks and whatnot. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. They are gonna adjust some mesosyncs. I guess the economy is gonna be a bit different now maybe it's depending on i think they might be going off server wise because you know there might be more bots in na than in eu for example or south america so we'll see how it goes over there i currently <laughs> I, I think i'm pretty poor in game um i didn't bother to do any dungeons uh, so I, i'm always lacking of mesos even though uh, you have, what, a week of running dungeons, which becomes a bit boring because of fair fights, but uh, the amount of money I have is literally um, I, what I get for weekly. And if I don't do my weekly, which I got a bit tired of, it means I'm getting less money per week as well. Uh, they are imp uh, introducing gear trading with restrictions, so that's going to be really, really interesting. We'll see how that goes. Looking forward to see that. I'm obviously gonna still continue to upload videos uh, about the producer blogs whenever I have the time. I might have missed out a lot of producer blogs, uh, but if you guys are not here for the producer blogs reviews, then yeah, I've already seen some drops on the uh, subscribe button over there. So it's really up to you if you wanna continue to follow my channel, but uh, I figured this is the best way I can do to compensate for the non-content of Maple Story 2 because there's not much I can showcase, especially with my uh, with the amount of time I have and with the <laughs> budget PC I have. Basically, uh, I can't really show much without having some uh, minor FPS. Now they are imp implementing Epic Pet improvements. So for those that are really really late and doesn't have an Epic Pet, they are gonna get some drop rate increase, I suppose or more options to it. So that's gonna be really, really fun. I, I still haven't leveled up my pet to 50 yet, but I hope it's uh, it's not just the drop rate, but it's also for the re-rolling part for it, because re-rolling the attributes is uh, insane. I spent about 20 plus uh, re-rolling and never got any good stats for my pet. So yeah, it actually demotivates you as well when you look at other people. Now, gemstones, related resource gathering process improvements. Um, I guess they're improving the uh, gemstones that you can achieve uh, to upgrade your gemstones in general. But uh, we don't really have that many choices at the moment. And obviously being in a guild is one of the options that benefits you uh, every week. Uh, and for the timeline over here, uh, I'm not going to read everything over here, uh, figure we might as well skip most of it. Uh, might be something important that I haven't read, but I'm, they are just typing in, you know. They are concerned about the topics that people are bringing up on Discord, on forums, etc. Uh, I, I really hope that people are giving the game a chance, but for now, if you are burnt out, take a break like I'm doing. So, yeah. So it's a three-month uh, three project, <clears throat> starting off with... Um, early to mid-February. They're gonna go in details with what's being changed and then later on in the uh, February and March they are gonna implement the update based off the, or feedback and then during March. I mean this I feel like they should have done this from the get-go and now that they're starting with this it might be a bit too late because if you're looking at February, March, April, May and then you know in the middle of the summer there might be other games that might be more interesting to play, right? But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Might be the first anniversary done uh, for Maple Story 2 Global. So you might give it a chance to, you know, revisit it and see how it goes. But right now, I feel like the player base has been dropped a lot, uh, for sure. So, 
We'll see. I might come back in the middle of this. We'll see. Now. Now that we got all of that uh, covered up, I feel like... Um, let's see. I feel like I should uh, bring up some stuff. Um, so, for people that I recently just looked up, uh, considering I'm not doing any Berserker videos anymore on my channel, I found this person doing Valish uh, or Valisha uh, S plus as a Berserker. So look up on Mr. Alec, I guess. Mr. Alec. So drop by his channel if you do want to see more content from him uh, as a Berserker. He has some nice content on his channel. Uh, one of them is obviously for the uh, faction bosses. So that's uh, one of the characters or people I would recommend if you want to look up for Berserker uh, videos. Going for next one, we're going with my uh, guild member, uh, the one and only Tatsumi. And uh, he's the Runeblader uh, in the EU server. He has uploaded a few videos now and then. I'm not sure if he quit the game. Uh, but you know, do check him out if you haven't seen him. Has awesome content. Uh, shares uh, his runs that he has done. He is also streaming on Twitch right now, uh, which is Tatsume with a three, and apparently he's playing something else. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, and for the third person, if you are a thief main, if you want to follow a thief, I would recommend Lucky TV. And this person has shown his build, his rotations and such, how to play a thief. I mean, he has all of these guides, or I guess, videos on the battles he's done as a thief. So it's a good source and a good channel to actually see uh, how well a thief plays. And I know a lot of people were <laughs> trash talking at the very beginning of the game of MapleStory 2 about how bad thief is. This man, or woman, <laughs> I suppose it's a man, uh, is a really good uh, Thief player, so check check this person out as well. I'll leave the description. Uh, I'll leave the links in the description down below uh, for you guys to click on and to drop by and subscribe to them as well if you're interested. Now for the next one, I am ACU and I shoot you or uh, two people, one people, one person, maybe I don't know. Uh, it's a combo of a wizard and a heavy gunner. So if you're interested in, into that. This person is playing on NA East, I believe, and uh, has really great content for from you know the Korean Maple Story Two and from Global to showcase. I don't think there's much to sh that they are sharing uh, because they're more of the top guild, you know, end game focused players. Nothing bad about it or anything that they're hiding or anything. But you know, you can always be friendly and check out their content. Write some comment and whatnot. Ask some question. They're really, really friendly. Um, they don't usually upload that much, except for uh, you know raid clears. But other than that, you could see them drop by on Twitch uh, because they are you know watching other uh, streamers as well and you know having their conversation on Twitch chats. So for the last one on YouTube, I would recommend Marksman Brian, uh, another awesome person that. Probably, yeah, as you can see, he played MapleStory 1 and now plays MapleStory 2 as a main game, I suppose. Played in Korean MapleStory 2 and obviously playing on global MapleStory 2 and sharing um, some content himself. Awesome dude. Uh, if you're interested in Archer stuff, look up on this person. Um, really, really uh, made me <laughs> kind of want to play Archer back then. Uh, but I decided to play Berserk instead, so, uh, yeah. So for the Twitch streams, as I mentioned earlier, we do have Saint One, uh, the guy that's mainly the uh, attraction for EU players right now. Uh, everyone uh, likes to, you know, drop by and say hi and, you know, uh, infiltrate the chat, uh, you know, whenever he does something. Awesome person, also in Codex. Uh, which I respect uh, a lot. Awesome dude. Uh, check him out on Twitch. I don't think he uploads much on YouTube. Follow him on Twitch and uh, obviously you will get more up-to-date content instead of mine, uh, my channel. Go to his, you can see some live things. You can ask him live uh, questions and whatnot uh, for upcoming updates or current up uh, content that you have any questions for. And 
not for the last. I've almost forgot Lion Poke. So Lion Poke is also uh, one of the per people I got inspired of, uh, starting off as a Berserker. Lion Poke is uh, streaming, obviously, but I haven't really seen him. I don't think I follow. Yeah, I actually don't follow. <laughs> Maybe I should follow again, but. Uh, he does stream it uh, at the time where I am asleep, so it's gonna be hard. But I do check out the uh, VOD whenever he has that, or he has. I think he has a YouTube channel as well. But other than that, he's part of the Jody Squad as well. Check him out if you're interested in Berserker. There are some um, interesting stuff that he can answer and you know talk about because he's a Korean player as well, uh, or he's been playing in Korea, uh, Korean version, not a Korean player, but yeah. So these are the people I would recommend you guys to follow and subscribe and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna take my vacation, I guess, uh, because MapleStory 2 does not have much content for me to play. So there's that. Uh, I would like to thank you all for following me and subscribing and whatnot. Uh, I do appreciate the journey and the small community we had, and you know some minor uh rants and such when we when it came to which you know builds were best which rotation was the best etc uh but you know maple story 2 is a fun game if you play for the social aspect right now if you're planning on doing this for the end game stuff or whatnot pvp it's not my type of thing so i do lack of content at that point um because i don't really have anything to showcase i don't have any series that i can make because there's not much for me or that i want to do uh but yeah so thank you very much for following me and if you're still staying uh, subscribed or followed on my Twitch or on my YouTube, there are still going to be some uploads randomly popping up or random streams popping up on Twitch uh, that I uh, play other games and whatnot. But it's mainly going to be the Cydia Opera Omnia now on my YouTube. And for MapleStory 2, it's going to be an end for now or a really, really long break or a vacation with that uh, MapleStory 2 content. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys another time.